Every time we see the bombardment of the Muslims, the oppression of the Muslims take place, the persecution of the Muslims, killing of the Muslims, raping of the Muslims, torturing of the Muslims throughout the world, whether it will be in China, we saw that the Uyghur Muslims put into concentration camp. The world saw it. The media reported it. The Western world realized what's taking place. The Muslim world, they saw it too. The oppression in India, the Muslims are being, how they're being killed, being butchered by the government of Modi, whether it will be in Iraq, when the whole of the coalition got together and they fought the Muslims under the guise of weapons of mass destruction and how many Muslims were killed, sanctioned, millions. But yet our Muslims go running back to those Tawahid government. They go running back to the United Nation. They come out with the concept of do a petition. What difference is this going to make, oh dear Muslims? You're running back to the people, the wolves who want to devour you. Isn't it those government, they say we stand by the oppressors so they can oppress the Muslim lands, the Muslims. When are we going to learn the lessons? As Muslims, we are people who submit to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Sharia that the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent with. Go back, open the Quran, open the seerah of the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. See the blueprint is there. How did they manage to battle? How did they manage to fight? How did they manage to become victorious? How did they manage to resist the occupiers? And how did they manage Managed to prevail justice in society. Open the book, Ya Muslim, carrying the banners, the flag of nationalism, calling for nationalism, calling for Wataniya, Qawmiya, Hizbiya. All of this is not from Islam. This does not unite the Muslim Ummah. Victory will never be given if we hold on and go to the United Nations and the Tawaheed for solution. Rather, hold on to the Quran and Sunnah, the rope of Allah. Hold on to the Quran and Sunnah and do not be divided. Message is simple. Those so-called dua who have millions of followers calling for two-state solution for Palestine. Is this the solution that the Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu would have gave to his Sahabas? Is this what the Sahabas would have taught to the Tabi'een and the Tawbah Tabi'een? Is this what the Ummah has come to? The Ulama remain silent. You are people who are supposed to inherit from the Prophet and the Prophets never carried dinhar or dinham. Rather, it was the, it was the knowledge and the struggle they left behind. You are people who are ambassadors of Islam. If you can't call for the right call, the right solution, then remain silent. Do not misguide the masses coming out and protesting together. I am not saying there's nothing, there's anything wrong with protesting as long as you can identify and differentiate yourself. Your call has to be the call of Tawheed. But if you are coming out in the masses and carrying the flag of nationalism, there will be no unity at all, my dear Muslims. Two million people protested for Iraq war. What happened? And then later, the people found out there was no such thing as weapon of mass destruction. WMDs, there was no such thing. Yet those millions and millions were killed. Who accounted their, those leaders? When are we going to stop running back? When are we going to stop running for a solution to those Tawahid governments? Those rulers from the Muslim lands, they are all in it together. They are the wolves who hunted Impact. That's what they're doing, trying to devour the Muslims. Did the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam not tell us that they will gather together and they will feast from you? Nations will gather, they will feast from you. This is what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. Wasallam. And this is what's happening nowadays. And what was the Sahabas? They couldn't comprehend why. Is it because the Muslims will be small in numbers? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no. And look at the situation of the Muslims. In the thousands we come out, but if that call, if that voice was one voice, the call of Tawheed, call of establishment of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you would have seen governments would have shaken. They would have been trembling. They would have fallen. You could have brought the government to the knees. They would have been fearing the call of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, the unity of the Muslims. Al-Muslimuna ummatan wahida min dunin nas. The Muslim is one ummah, unique ummah. Arduhum wahida, the land is one. Harbuhum wahida, the war is one, the peace is one, the honor is one, and each and every one of the Muslims can represent the entire Ummah of the Nabi Muhammad Return back to the
the Quran, return back to the Sunnah. If you are going to come out on the streets, marching in the thousands and even in the millions, then make it one voice. The voice of calling for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be dominant. This is exactly why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Huwa allazi arsala rusuluhu bil huda wa deen al haqqa li yudhhirahu ala deen kullihi. Wa la yukari al mushikun wa la yukari al kafirun. It is he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the deen of truth and the guidance so he may dominate. He may dominate. And in order for that to return back, the voices of the Muslims need to be one in unity upon Tawheed, upon the Quran, upon the Sunnah. None of this solution the United Nations will give. The democracy will resolve. Man-made system never resolved anything. Look at the history. Whenever you give dictatorship to man to be in control, to be in authority, chaos, the resulted in chaos. But whenever you leave the solution to Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, you will see total justice for all the inhabitants in, in the world, whether it be Muslim or non-Muslim, whether it will be the animal or the environment, everything will benefit. Return back to the call of Allah and His Messenger. Raise the flag of Tawheed.